Alright, this is Bladed Velvet, and I'm going to be showing you how to do shading. Now, it depends on what your background is going to be. Um, the way I prefer to do it, I will always start with a transparent layer. And to get that, you go to um, Layer Transparency at Alpha Channel, and then click or, and then push the delete key on your keyboard. Um, we're going to be starting with the basic shape, a ball, circle, whatever. Basic shape. And there's the base. Now, you're going to want to get different shades of the same color to do this. And that is what I am doing. And I start with the darkest. And you simply click the um, paint tool, bucket tool, and fill that in. And then you do a new layer. Make sure transparency is clicked. And make another circle within that circle. I'm using, remember to, when you do this, um, you're going to have a light source that is the easiest way to do shading is to imagine a light source coming from somewhere. My light source is going to be coming from over there. Then the next thing you do is you select a color one shade lighter. You can see the current and the old here. One shade lighter than the last. and fill it in. And it is pretty much that over and over. So uh, now that you know the basis, the base of how to do that, I'm just going to zoom right on through here. It's really bad when you're humming off key. <laughs> I do that all the time. Hum off key, that is. And if you don't know what song I was just humming, it was the, um, Love You song from Charlie the Unicorn 3. Remember, you don't have to be exact on this. That is what I love so much about it. Ooh, I clicked cancel, didn't I? Didn't mean to do that. And the reason you don't have to be exact is because we're going to blur. Confound you. There we go. Alrighty. There you have different shades going in a row. Now, what I like to do to make sure it's all even 
is I will go to my very first layer, click to select, and CTRL and I to invert, or just click the um, transparent area, either or. And I will go through each layer, pressing the delete key to make sure no parts of the different layers are outside of the base. And you can definitely tell there's some shading going on. And now I'll go back to the base layer, click the colored part again, and go to the next layer, click filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and depending on the size, it's like if you're doing something small, a 2 or a 3 should work, but something this big, 25 to 30. And I like 27. And you're going to want to do that twice on each layer. to assure proper blending. I love that repeat button. Now this is good for um, an eye. A ball, pretty much anything circular that you could think of, this would be good for. And this is just telling you how to do it. Now, the reason that I clicked the bot, the base layer, the reason that I clicked this layer initially, was so that when I blurred it, the blur, the blurring would not go outside of the area and it is shaded. And there is this one layer that seems to be a bit out of place in its color. It's like here it's mainly brown and then up here it's different shades of this same brown down here so this layer needs to be colorized. and just work with the colors until you like what you see until it looks well blended <laughs> and there you have it simple way to blend